Happy New Year 2018 and welcome to Candid Travels Texas. It's January now in 2018 here in Central Texas and we're going for a walk with Max. Now notice Mac has his, his uniform. It's, he is a service animal. So he is now about three months old, which means hopefully he'll grow bigger like this tall, right? He'll be the size of a small horse because he's a purebred Great Dane. And come on, let's keep walking. So I just want to uh, give you guys some tactical tips uh, that are actually tactical tips for humans. And so one of the things to be a happy human, especially if you have canines around you or dogs, is you want a happy canine. If you have a happy canine, happy dog, happy life. Very important. Now, you've just got to remember, if you ever watched the horse whisperer, AKA the dog whisperer, Cesar Milan, he always taught, tells you, remember, this Max here, he's our kid, Allison and I's son, but he's not a human son. He is a dog. So we cannot talk to them like I'm talking to you right now, I'm not minding him. I'm not looking at him, and that's why he's walking well, right? And I keep him on my short leash. So, happy dog, happy life. Now, he has a relatively low prey drive. Now, you see the birds there? He looks like he's about, see his ears are going forward? So, but, but I'm, I'm holding him. Now, notice his ears, ears went back. Max, see that? You want the ears to go back. So you only reward behavior. Good, good boy. So I wanted him to sit. I didn't even have to say it. Now, nibble, no, right? So this breed usually has low prey drive, but still he sees a bird. He's forward, he hears a dog over there. Now, um, so the tip is happy dog, happy life. And when you have a service animal, it does help. Uh, because w us in being calm and assertive energy, is when a dog will obey us. So it's no different for all of y'all fellow cowboys out there when you're riding a horse. If you're generally a horse, you're not gonna use your verbal command only, okay? You have a calm, assertive energy when you're riding a horse. You cannot physically dominate a larger beast. Now, a lot of people have little dogs and they dominate them. However, this is very important. This, this, this is a working dog, they're big. So like a horse, you have to use the same kind of energy to dominate the horse. Okay, let's keep walking. So that's today's tactical tip. We're gonna go for a drive and maybe head over to Houston if we can make it on time to the Wortham. We're gonna give him his walk. And um, another tip for any dogs is there's two brands of dog foods that I, I think are good. One's better than the other in my opinion. It's a gentle giant dog food. Now, it's not just for big dogs. It's for all dogs, large and small, from all different uh, types of uh, life stage. And listen, I don't care. It doesn't hurt me, right? So Allison was trying to be worried again. So that's another thing. You don't want to have any negative emotions when you're around a canine where they're not going to behave, okay? So General Giants is my, my top pick. And the good thing is, if you buy General Giants dog food, kind of like when you do max.com forward slash 575625, it goes to help kids, okay? That's the Chuck Norris and I's business. Max, uh, uh, General Giants is Burt Ward. He's the actor who played Robin. Him and his wife have a rescue for general, well, well, large breed dogs in California. So it's at cost, it's less expensive than the average dog food, and you don't have to worry about what age and, and all that kind of stuff. The second brand is called Zach's. They're the similar ingredients. Now it's okay, he's a Texan dog. He's born here in Liberty Hill, Liberty Hill, Texas, here in Central Texas. So he's used to cacti. Now Allison's a little nervous because she's from California. And you're behind the camera, right Allison? Yes. Okay, so there's no need to worry, okay? If he, if he pokes his, his, his nose, he'll learn. Remember, he's an animal, he's not a human. So this is a great, Tactical teaching point, okay, that Allison's a little bit worried about the dog. So if you worry about your dog, you're, the, the dog will live a shorter amount of life because dogs are animals, okay, like a horse. So if you think of your dog as a horse, no matter how small, you may have a little tiny chihuahua this big. 
that big, that big, right? Like this big, right? But you still have to remember it is an animal. It's a beast. All right, let's keep walking. Let's see, we'll let him right, run. We're on our way to Houston, Texas, to the Wortham Center. That's a museum, there's a planetarium. We're gonna walk indoors with Max today because it's 40 some degrees. Uh, his second walk will be indoors and it'll give him socialization. So onward with the tactical tip. For a happy human, you gotta have a happy canine. Dogs need to be socialized. I mean, you gotta walk them several times a day. They gotta go to different environments. And so that's where we're gonna go. It'll be an indoors. And, and Max is an indoor service animal. So uh, yeah, okay. We'll show you a little bit of the Wortham Center, the world famous Wortham Center. In All right, we are now stuck in traffic now, which means we're now in Houston, Texas area. Uh, anyway, check this out here. Here's my uh, Reverend Doctor necklace right here. Do you see that, Allison? Yeah, it's got that slight Native American feel to it, but I'm gonna show it to you, and Allison, you're gonna film it, all right? Right here. Take it off. This is what's happened. Okay, here you go. Film it. You got a cross of Jesus on the front, and what's on the back? What does it read? You can read it. I can't. Jesus, it? chief cornerstone. Ephesians 2.20. Jesus, the chief cornerstone. That's right. The power of Jesus. Hey, hey. I'm trying to keep the YouTube numbers down, guys, so don't watch this. Welcome to downtown Houston. We rarely drive to this area, and over here, you look to the right, there is the Aqua Arena, which is a Houston Aquarium. Now, I applied for a job there a few years ago, and when I was living in LA, and they said no. <laughs> they were like, no, you can't fly here just to work at the, at the aquarium. So, okay, it's, a, it's 54 degrees, and you can see I have my hat on because it's a little cold. It was 40, I believe, low 40s in Austin. So now here, look straight ahead. Look, you got construction guys out there doing sparks. You see that? Can you see that? Yeah, I and think so. And then this is the this is the art district here in Houston. And Preston, look, it says Preston. That's my nephew's name. P R E S T O N N. He is 13. It's the Wortham Center. You see that? We're here at the Wortham Center. There's a lot of construction, and the reason why is because. They're all pumping and fumigating because of the, the, the Hurricane Harvey, as you can see. We're still reconstructing. Here's a little family going to the Wortham Center to the right. And turn here's the aquarium, the, the Houston Aquarium. Turn left. So I got to turn left at Bagby Street. And as you can see, this is called by here. Oh, that is the Houston Aquarium. So it just got up and running soon because mainly because of Hurricane Harvey. This is a lower lying area, so it was all flooded. Look at, there's a, a Ferris wheel, I believe it's working. And if you look on this side, it's Texas Street. So we are at Texas. That's Texas right here. Texas Street in Houston, Texas. And we're at Bagby and Prairie. And that's where the aquarium's at, which is near where we're going to the Wortham Center. So maybe one day we'll go to the, we'll go to the uh, aquarium. But today we're going to the Wortham Center to walk our service animal, Max. Hi, Max. Yeah, I see you. I see you, Max. Hi, Max. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Looks like some kind of fecal matter. <laughs> We're at Seraphim Hall. Now, this whole area was all underwater during Hurricane Harvey. So you can see all it smells pretty bad right now. I don't know if you can smell it, Allison, but it smells kind of crappy. And so, anyway, this is, uh, the Wortham Center is closed, so we'll probably go to the planetarium <laughs> at the zoo. So, uh, I I'm hoping that's open. So, uh, everybody's keeping their spirits high, and we're just all working together. A uh, good thing is we didn't have any major looting. Um, that's a very big blessing from God, you know, during the uh, hurricane and the aftermath, okay? And that is why... We're blessed by the Lord, I think, because we're blessed and therefore we don't loot. 
It's not because we don't loot and we're blessed. <laughs> it's the other way around. All right. Let's see why. We're going to head toward the planetarium. And there's the Minute Maid Center, which is where the Astros played during uh, the World Series. They used to play at the uh, Astrodome when I was a kid. Minute Maid Center. All right, we're in the elevator now at, and there's... McDonald's, there's Knights. We're in the elevator at the planetarium. There's Max. There's Max doing his job. And here we are at the Morian Hall, the paleontology. Uh, we didn't make it for Wortham today because, you know, flooding from Harvey. So we're going to be uh, here at the planetarium, which is what Allison is used to. And there's Allison. Happy New Year 2017. And we've got Max doing his job today. Yeah. How you doing? Good to see you. Happy New Year. Service animal. Okay, thank you. So we got to take him outside, Allison. You for well, then I have to take him outside. Okay. So we've been driving for about three hours. So Max and Allison need to go to the bathroom. So she's going to the bathroom uh, inside. And I'm going to take Max out here. He's been a good dog. Did a real good ride here. Okay. And there's his little patch of pee place right here. Okay. All right. Get busy. Okay, get busy, buddy. So we are... Thank you so much. But I'm uh, vlogging right now. Anyway, so here we are. We're inside the pet store where this is a where there's Max. Max is down here. And then this is behind me a stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. Or no. It's a western lizard. A western lizard here. And this is so look right behind me. There's look at that behind me. Wow. Look at that. The Western Lizard. Here in the planetarium area, we have a Western Lizard, a Hesperosaurus cast. Pretty neat, huh? Not one of the bigger ones, but we got one right here. Very nice. There's from tail to head, you've got the Western. The Western Lizard. And look who's done going to the bathroom as well. Who's behind me? Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Here's the camera. You can film if you like. Film whatever you want. Yeah, All right. He's the that's like as tall as I am, maybe a little taller. Oh, they say that there's like good radiation. Look, Max is like enjoying it too. You can actually feel some vibes here. If you put your hand like right here. I know, Allison, you like them, right? We yep. have a small one at our house. Trains. That is cool. Max likes it because it reminds him of kids. <laughs> and uh, it's after Christmas, but we still have these here. Aren't they great? Trains. And that one's cars, I think. It's a... Uh... Driving our seniors one volunteer at a time. Oh my god. Look at this. The kid's gonna ride it. You gotta show show them. So this is the planetarium area, but it is called the Wortham Giant Street. So Wortham is just kinda like the Wortham Center. Oh, that little girl's gonna ride this thing. That's so cool. That's so cool. This is a perfect Maui holiday. <laughs> Maui, of... get it, Maui? No, it's a cat. Oh, Maui, not like Maui. Look, 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 turn around, the little girl's riding. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> no. Oh, that was uh, good. Houston Strong. Uh, yeah! That's right. We needed underwear uh, after the uh, 
the, the, the Hurricane Harvey flooding. A lot of people didn't have underwear. True. And so that's why we have an undies tree. Uh, that's the first thing. Things you don't remember during a crisis situation is under 50 some degrees. So we talked to police officer. Ah, we didn't get him on camera. Nice guy. Isn't this gorgeous? This is kind of like a greenhouse butterfly garden. And if you look inside, there's little butterflies inside. Look at that right on the edge. You see that? Butterfly and birds. And it's nice and warm in there. So we're outside of the planetarium area, okay? Uh, he, he didn't go pee. Look at what Max discovered. We got footprints here at the planetarium, like in Hollywood, California. Look at that. Marie Hucker's got pretty big feet. It says Marie. That. Black holes, huh? Look at the incredible 3D predators, 3D. There's some pretty cool stuff here at the planetarium. And the white Christmas through December. And now it's January. Uh, so that's our little trip to the Wortham. You saw the Wortham underwater. They were trying to fumigate it. And this is the Burke Baker Planetarium, which they have, it's called the Wortham Big Screen Theater over there. So it's, you look in the sky and it's a huge dome experience. So Bella, not Bella, sorry. In memory of Bella the movie dog, we have Max, the service animal. He's not a movie animal. He's a service animal and we got him walking for about 35 minutes so we got 35 minutes more to go and then we'll head out okay thanks for joining us We're happy new year officially at the houston museum of natural science and that's where the planetarium is it's not the wortham center but there's a wortham big screen movie theater so once again happy new year 2018 from candid travels texas max the service animal, Allison, Reese, uh, Lovingly Stone Productions, ATXI Tech Family.